Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1755, Samuel Johnson's A Dictionary of the English Language is published in London. In 1802, William Wadsworth and his sister Dorothy see a long belt of daffodils, which inspired William to write his poem, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. In 1817, Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet and Laurent Clerc founded the American School for the Deaf in Hartford, Connecticut. In 1850, the city of San Francisco, California is incorporated. In 1861, Abraham Lincoln mobilizes the Federal Army for the U.S. Civil War. In 1865, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln dies without regaining consciousness after being shot the previous evening by actor John Wilkes Booth. In 1974, the first Impressionist exhibition opens in Paris, featuring Claude Monet, Edgar Degas, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, and Camille Pissarro. In 1878, Harley Proctor introduces ivory soap. It's 99.9% .9 pure, you know. In 1892, the General Electric Company is formed today. In 1896, tonight was the closing ceremony of the Games of the First Olympiad in Athens, Greece. In 1900, Exposition Universelle, which is the World's Fair, opens in Paris and lasts until November 12th. In 1902, rioting and arson continues in Russia with peasants plundering estates to find food. In 1912, after hitting an iceberg late yesterday, the Titanic sinks today. Over 1,500 people die. In 1922, the legendary Poodle Dog Restaurant closes in San Francisco. In 1923, insulin becomes generally available for use by people with diabetes. In 1924, the Rand McNally Auto Chum was released. It was their first road atlas. In 1926, Robertson Aircraft one of the originators of American Airlines flew its first mail route. It was between Chicago and St. Louis. Oh, and the pilot was a guy named Charles Lindbergh. In 1927, Yankees slugger Babe Ruth hits the first of MLB record season 60 home runs. In 1928, Aliados on Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco opens, and it is delicious. In 1931, the first backwards walk across America begins. In 1935, the Eastman Kodak Company launches Kodachrome Film, and you younger folks will never know how cool that was. In 1940, the Allies begin their attack on the Norwegian town of Narvik, which is occupied by Nazi Germany. In 1941, in what becomes known as the Belfast Blitz, 200 bombers of the German Luftwaffe attack Belfast, Northern Ireland, killing 1,000 people. In 1945, the German concentration camp Bergen-Belsen is liberated. Also in 1945, Franklin D. Roosevelt is buried in the grounds of his Hyde Park home. In 1945 as well, U.S. troops occupy the concentration camp Kolditz. In 1947, Jackie Robinson played in his first major league game for the Brooklyn Dodgers at Ebbets Field. In 1952, today is the maiden flight of the B-52 Stratofortress. Also in 1952, Franklin National Bank issues the first bank credit card. In 1955, American fast food pioneer Ray Kroc opened the first McDonald's franchise in Des Plaines, Illinois. In 1958, the Los Angeles Dodgers host the first Major League Baseball game played on the west coast of the United States. Also in 1958, at the 10th Emmy Awards, Gunsmoke, Robert Young, and Jane Wyatt win. In 1959, Fidel Castro begins a U.S. Goodwill tour, but it didn't work. In 1961, The Music Man, starring Robert Preston and Barbara Cook, closes at the Majestic Theater in New York City after 1,375 performances. In 1965, the NFL changes the penalty flag from white to bright gold. In 1966, the Rolling Stones release their album, Aftermath. In 1969, North Korea shoots down a United States Navy aircraft over the Sea of Japan, killing all 31 on board. In 1970, during the Cambodian Civil War, massacres of the Vietnamese minority results in 800 bodies flowing down the Mekong River into South Vietnam today. 
In 1971, at the 43rd Academy Awards, Patton, George C. Scott, and Glenda Jackson win. In 1972, Barbara Streisand, James Taylor, Carole King, and Quincy Jones perform at a benefit for George McGovern for president. I distinctly remember shaking his hand once when I was a kid. In 1975, today was the first appearance of the San Diego Chicken. In 1978, 43 people die as two express trains collide head-on south of Bologna, Italy. In 1981, Janet Cook says her Pulitzer award-winning story about an eight-year-old heroin addict is a lie. The Washington Post relinquishes the Pulitzer Prize on the fabricated story. In 1983, Tokyo Disneyland opens. In 1988, Wendy Wasserstein's play, Heidi Chronicles, premieres in New York City. In 1989, at Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield, England, a crush of football fans resulted in 96 deaths and hundreds of injuries. Also in 1989, the then largest lottery in North America is drawn in Illinois for $69 million. In 1990, groundbreaking TV series from Keenan Ivory Wayans, In Living Color, premieres on Fox TV. I just love that show. In 1992, billionaire Leona Helmsley is sent to jail for tax evasion, but she was such a nice lady. Also in 1992, William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, and DeForest Kelly are inducted into the National Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame. In 1994, jazz singer Tony Bennett records a session for the MTV Unplugged series at Sony Studios in New York City, which wins two Grammy Awards. In 1997, Major League Baseball honors Jackie Robinson by retiring number 42 for all teams. Also in 1997, fire sweeps through a campsite of Muslims, making the Hajj pilgrimage, killing 343 people. In 2000, U.S. President Bill Clinton established the Giant Sequoia National Monument. In 2002, Air China Flight CA-129 crashes into a hillside during heavy rain near Busan, South Korea, killing 128 people who immediately became zombies. In 2003, as a result of the Iraq War, U.S. President George W. Bush declared that the government of Saddam Hussein in Iraq had fallen. In 2011, in what is considered Black Friday for online poker in the U.S., the government accuses companies of fraud and money laundering, shutting down sites. In 2012, a hologram of late rapper Tupac is featured on stage with Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre at the Coachella Music Festival. But I thought Tupac was still alive. In 2013, near the finish line of the Boston Marathon, two homemade bombs were detonated in the crowd, killing three people and wounding over 260 more. In 2014, US TV series Fargo, starring Billy Bob Thornton, Allison Tolman, Colin Hanks, and Martin Freeman, premieres on FX. In 2017, suicide car bombers target buses carrying Syrian evacuees, killing 126 people, including 70 children. In 2019, the historic Notre Dame de Paris caught fire during a restoration campaign. The blaze destroyed most of the cathedral's roof, the 19th century spire, and some of the rib vaulting. Also in 2019, according to the World Health Organization today, Measles cases jumped 300% in the first three months of 2019. In 2019 as well, Aretha Franklin posthumously receives the Pulitzer Prize Special Citation Honor, becoming the first individual woman to win it since 1930. In 2020, taking into account assumed COVID-19 deaths, the revised death count for New York makes the city's per capita death rate higher than that of Italy. Also in 2020, today was the deadliest day in the U.S. during the COVID-19 pandemic, with 2,752 deaths reported. In 2021, India records over 200,000 new cases of COVID-19 for the first time. And lastly, also in 2021, a shooting at a FedEx facility in Indianapolis, Indiana, leaves eight people dead and five injured. Hey, thanks for watching and or listening to my episode today. I hope you give me a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe so that you know when I post new ones. I know it's every day, but still. 
Talk to you tomorrow.